envisioned my entire time in Sydney to be going to the beach every day and sun and sand and getting tan and this is what the weather's been the last few days. So the new year's been off to a little bit of a rough start. I'm kind of in a funk. I don't know if it's the weather or the pressure of it being a new year, but I just like, I, I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling good. I've been sleeping like 12 hours the last couple nights and that's where I'm kind of like, ooh. Because right now it's a funk, but I have to take care of it before it literally turns into a full on depressive episode. I just got dressed. I'm gonna force myself out in the rain because if I stay in this hotel room any longer, I'm gonna go psycho this is the only jacket that i packed on this whole trip because i thought it was gonna be nice out i thought that oh i was just about to leave <laughs> look at the weather i didn't even think i could go out in that it's like torrential downpouring yourself on a date is it's awkward okay but it's necessary because of what's known as a third space this is a european concept and it's a space outside the home outside of work but where you're around other humans just being around strangers is weirdly healing make it less uncomfortable sit in the corner bring a book that always makes it less awkward than sitting on your phone if there's a bar countertop I'd recommend sitting there or face the window and just enjoy the solitude and people watch because humans are cute this shit is literally coming down in sheets. I don't know why. It's basically just me and like 400 children here. Okay, this is how you stay consistent in going to the gym. One, I never commit to a full workout. I commit to going to the gym for five minutes and five minutes only. Once you're there, you're not only gonna stay five minutes. Like you'll probably finish a whole workout. Sometimes you don't, most of the time you do, and that's good. Two, if I'm ever considering not going to the gym, I use something called the 54321 rule. Basically, the rule is you don't let yourself think about the decision. You literally count down five, four, three, two, one, and you just do it. And I use this for getting out of bed in the morning, starting a project, but mostly for going to the gym, but it honestly works for anything. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna go spend absurd amounts of money today. That's really how you get out of a funk. I'm just kidding, but I'm not. I actually need to go shopping today for Australian open outfits. And yes, I do put it off until the very last second, but this year I really wanted to make an effort to not wear fast fashion brands. And Australia has the best brands, boutiques, clothing labels. My friend Sarah is taking me shopping and she has all the, the connects. She knows where to go. damn mitch gotten so many questions about what to wear to australian open so i wanted to show you guys some of the potential options that i got the thing about australian open is if it's a day match it is 100,000 bajillion trillion million degrees i am from the midwest i don't function well in heat so my recommendation is as little clothing as possible and of all the grand slams i would say australian open is historically in my experience the least classy of the bunch which is not negative in fact i would believe that's actually a positive it's really fun and australians are crazy people so because it's 100 billion trillion degrees little skirts little tank tops i actually really like this one because this is what the back looks like it's really cool i love wearing green sets to tennis matches because i think it makes me look like a giant tennis ball but in a cute way so i got this like green set that kind of is tennis ball-y especially if it's a day match dress for the weather little skirts little tank tops little summer dresses are all ideal i personally don't like wearing hats because I feel like I can't think straight with them on. Same thing with sunglasses. But my head is always sunburned at Australian Open. So if you're a hat person, I would recommend wearing a hat. It's an early morning tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <come> on. <laughs> Oysters here are next level. So good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys
guys can see I woke up with a hemorrhage in my eye that little red dot so my health anxiety had a fucking field day on WebMD this morning. Anyways, Taylor plays at 10 a.m. this morning, so I'm getting ready for, I, it's the semifinals of the United Cup, which is like a team tournament. So he's playing for Team USA. Here is the match fit. Guys, here is the match fit for today. It's freezing cold. Did you win? Uh, obviously, because I wouldn't. I wouldn't be on camera right now. But <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> I wouldn't. A post match. I just edited all afternoon, and it's like. 10 p.m. already. We just ordered room service, which we try not to do very often. I've still eaten like kind of a disgusting amount of room service in the last year. Got butter chicken, and then Taylor's pre-match meal is two filet steaks and a cheese pizza. Probably not gonna eat all of it, but I just want to make sure I have enough food. <laughs> really hungry. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I'm really hungry. So much food. You blinded you through a lot of your damage. All right, no, get out, get out, get out. Nice. Good shit, yeah. Yes. Ah! It's finally nice out today. It's 10 a.m. I'm going to the beach. I'm taking full advantage, full advantage of the nice weather this time. I'm getting ready for a tennis match. It's the finals of United Cup, so it's USA versus Italy. Best three of five matches. Winner takes the cake. And a lot of money and a lot of points actually. I feel like I should make a video explaining the tennis tour and ranking and the point system because it honestly took me probably like six months actually full-time traveling on tour to understand everything and I'm still learning a ton. I bought this pink headband when I was at Line Friends in Tokyo a few months ago and I truly have never ever ever been so emotionally attached to a material item like if I forget it on a trip, I might as well go home. Literally my whole trip is ruined. I genuinely can't function without it now. I feel like I gaslight myself every day into believing my nose contour is good. <laughs> All right, here is the match fit for finals. Let's go. You wanna put that dish in your mouth? Just two original glazes. Huh? So sweet. <laughs> 